How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Mojo Grip. Today I'm going to show you one of the most highly requested airplane. I'm here at Sun and Fun. Stay tuned, we're gonna check out the Velocity XL RJ. Here we are guys. For several years, many of you have asked to see this airplane and I promise you I tried a few years ago. I was out in Florida and wanted to check this out. But long story short, we're here today back in Florida and uh, this plane, man, now I've seen it before, but I got to tell you, seeing it again, it's just, it's a very unique design. You rarely find anything like this, okay? And if you see this plane, it's a Cronard design, meaning you practically have two wings or two sets of wings. So one on the nose and one here. And what that means is that your control surfaces are a little bit different when you fly a canard, okay? Another thing that's unique to a canard is you've got a pusher motor, which is behind you, okay? I'll just go around here, and this thing uses a pretty big engine, a Continental uh, 310 horsepower engine that's fully turbocharged, okay? Let's just go around here, and I'll tell you some of the things you would think about when you're looking at a canard like this compared to your standard conventional airplane which would typically have that up there and you don't really get this all right now speaking of let's let's talk about this first so this aircraft doesn't have flaps so no flap system whatsoever what you have here this control surface is your elevator okay on these uh, set of wings up here and then if you come back here, you can see this vertical structure here. This is your rudder, but something interesting about the rudder is that it's limited. So this only pushes out, okay? So you've got your rudder there, and then you've got your ailerons here. Again, no flaps. On a conventional plane, you would have flaps out here, and then, no, no, sorry, you'd have uh, flaps in here and then ailerons there but no flaps here and like i said you have a four bladed prop with a pusher motor back here and also this aircraft has about 95 to 100 gallons uh fuel capacity this is an experimental plane so depend on the builder and the specs you want you can get your fuel tanks but that's about how much you would get now something interesting while i'm back here that i thought about is how on god's green earth do you cool this engine well you've got some mighty air vents here so when you're flying along you've got a good amount of cool air coming in and that's going straight to the engine bay here and so you get some cooling and then also you have this big opening uh, back here uh, these are MT props they're pretty much wood composite um, and they told me that as a builder you can always get another set of props they're actually looking at offering different uh, set of prop that's made out of carbon which is a stronger material so you can get that as well and speaking of material this entire airframe is built out of fiberglass okay so fiberglass is stronger light and so that's what you get and that's why you see all the smooth surface here no rivets uh, you know in my plane which is made out of aluminum some fiberglass but mostly aluminum you have a bunch of those rivets so you get that with this where it's a completely smooth surface and speaking of let's go in the interior of this plane one thing i like about this actually is this door you can see it opens at an angle so it allows for easy entry and these seats can be folded or pushed forward so that way passengers can easily get in the back room and as you can see guys you see the leg room here or between the uh the front seat and the back seat and then you've got uh, some luggage space also back here you've got your headset jack for your passengers and you also have more headset jack here but you can get an idea of the cabin space in here and guys if i turn the camera like it looks like a spaceship in here now i would not normally for me personally this is not my color combination but it's really nice in here and again being an experimental you can always build to your own taste uh, but let's get in actually here we are in the velocity aircraft 
guys, this cabin is huge. So big that I can, like, look, look at how, how I can just have an armrest here and obviously the, the pilot as well. Uh, but also, if you look at my headroom, I mean, there's a ton, ton of room uh, for my headroom here. So somebody on the bigger side will have no problems. Absolutely none sitting here. Now, something you should consider is how your legs are placed. Being the design of this airplane, you see how I have to stretch my legs. And I do love the touch of the rudder pedals here. I almost feel like car pedals uh, to me. So guys, up here in the cabin, starting from the left side, you've got your throttle quadrant there. You've got your throttle here, your prop and your mixture lever. Now you can see how nicely they use or how well they use the space up here. This normally would have been the middle, but something unique to this aircraft is this. You've only got a single control stick, which means whether you're sitting on this side or you're sitting on this side, you can control the aircraft. So that's a pretty neat design. And then as you come up, you can see also that this is a full glass panel. Uh, this is currently equipped with the Dynon uh, panel. Now, given that you have options whenever you're building an airplane, you can have Dynon or Garmin or whatever avionics you want in here. And just looking at this, I can tell this is also IFR equipped. This is your uh, GNS 430. So, and then you've got your radio here also. And this, I'm not sure, but this IFAS device here could be kind of like a backup think of the Garmin G5 and so you have this but you've got enough screen to give you all the information you can possibly want and then you've got your electric switches below that and on this side you've got an ELT uh, button guys if you've seen the panel in my airplane you're probably familiar with this what this does is normally you have an ELT which is an emergency locator and it normally would activate by itself if the airplane was in distress or you had a crash landing but in the in the case where the system doesn't come on automatically and you're conscious enough you can hit that and what that does for you is help you get some help uh sooner than later so you've got that and uh this whole side is barely there's barely anything here so probably you can still put stuff on this panel but this is still very neat guys and if you come up here you've got more electronic switches here which is neat and one thing i should mention guys you're sitting up pretty upright in this airplane this is my view right now so i can see everything uh sometimes the the you, you can see just as much as this sometimes as much as this but right now this is my actual view in this cabin so whether you're on the average size or taller side you, you would have no problem seeing what's ahead of you okay so let's step out and let's talk about some of the performance numbers and i'll give you the price on this thing all right so now we're back out and as i mentioned the model name for this aircraft is the xlrg rg meaning those landing gear is actually retractable so you've got that now numbers this particular model that you see on display has a continental il 550 which puts out about 310 horsepower this is twin turbocharged okay so you you've got uh some power booster there now it is gonna cost you a pretty penny though compared to normally aspirated but there's no turbo the price for this aircraft, you've got you got to get a kit, you have to get an engine, and then uh, your also your retractable landing gear system, your prop, all that good stuff. The kit starts at sixty thousand, but I would just say budget about seventy five thousand because once you include the retractable landing gear system, you're about that much in price. And then your engine, you can get your standard engine at 55 grand. So $55,000 for your normal engine. Guess what guys, if you wanted the turbo charge like this one, add another $60,000. Now, is it worth it to pay more than double for an engine? Well, let's talk about the cruise speed and performance speed then. This aircraft will cruise nicely at 200 knots with your standard engine, okay? 
but with this turbo charge you're looking at 20 knots more now is 20 knots more worth 60,000 that's the question you have to ask yourself personally I don't think so uh, so I would save my money uh, but again it's up to whoever's building these so you can if you if you have a need for speed spend the extra 60 grand but all in all guys if you're gonna build this airplane yourself you're probably looking in the three hundred thousand dollar range if you build it with the build assist program which is offered uh, by velocity aircraft uh, add another hundred thousand dollars so if you want a brand new spanking new airplane with paint interior uh, fully loaded panel you're looking at about 400 grand for this aircraft okay I hope that helps and I hope you guys enjoy this review. Again, it's been highly requested, so I wanted to make sure that I cover it for y'all. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notification bell on. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Mike, and I will catch you on the next video.